This is I Matit with Samuel OK, and this channel is dedicated to helping young mathematicians reach their full potential as soon as possible. And in this lesson, we are going to be focusing on partial fraction. So this lesson is part of a series of lessons where we learn how to solve fractions partially. And in this lesson, we will be focusing on the quadratic factor type. That is the one in which we have one of the factor at denominator being a quadratic. And this is the problem we have to deal with. Remember, what we used to do is we express the fraction as the sum of two small fractions introducing um, constant A, B, and C respectively, and D, or what, as the case may be. And this is how this should be. The quadratic factor will take the constant p x plus c. So let's go on and find the LCM so we can um, obtain an expression at the numerator that contains all the constant. So 2x plus 1 in this LCM will give x squared plus theta x plus 3. And we multiply that by a. So we have i into x squared plus theta x plus 3. And plus, and the x squared plus theta x plus 3 in that we have x plus 1. So we multiply that by bx plus c. So we have bx plus c and multiplied by 2x plus 1. On this other side, remember we have 9x squared plus 48x plus 18 um, all over um, 2x plus 1 and multiplied by x squared plus 8x and plus 3. So um, at this point, you will notice that we have the same thing, uh, the numerator on it on both sides. So since the denominators are equal, you can go on and equate the numerator so, and focus on solving that. Please, if you are getting value from the from this lesson, remember to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more educational content like this. So and feel free to write. Um, the topic you would like to see on this channel in the comment section. Okay, so we have this numerator to focus on. So we have um, 9x squared plus 48x and plus 18 equals i into x squared plus 8x and plus 3 and plus bx plus c in brackets multiplied by um 2x plus 1 in bracket okay so this is what we have to deal with so um let us go on and open that the brackets we have there so if we open that bracket we have a squared plus 8ax plus 3a and plus 2b x squared and plus bx and plus 2c and plus c right so um let's go on and rearrange that in a form that will help us to be able to compare both sides of the equation so we have a x squared plus 2b x squared then we have what 8ax and plus bx and plus 2cx then we have those components without the x. We have 3a and plus c. So while on the other side we have um, 9x squared plus 48x and plus 18. If we factor those um, the right hand side. So we have um, i plus 2b x squared. Then we have 8a plus b and plus 2c x then we have plus 3a and plus c so while on this side we have 9 s squared plus 48 x and plus 18 so you will notice that we can compare the left hand side with the right hand side right so we have some component having s squared and some having x and some without the x 
So we can say 9 squared is equivalent to a plus 2b x squared. So therefore, we have 9 equals to a plus 2b, right? So let this be our first equation. Okay. Now we'll go on and obtain other equations as well. Then we'll solve the simultaneous equation. And by so doing, we would have found the value of the constant a, b, and c. So also, um, 48x is equivalent to the 8a plus b plus 2c x that we have on the right hand side. Therefore, 8a plus b and plus 2c is equal to 48, which is the coefficient of x on that side. Okay, and the component without the s factor, which is 3a plus c, is equal to the component without the x factor on the right hand side, on the left hand side, sorry, which is 18. So this will be equation 2 and this equation 3. So we have these three equations to deal with. The next Part. The next part series in this series of video is going to contain how to um, solve partially when you have um, a, a fraction that has um, rep that has that, that happen to be an improper fraction. So where you have the denominator um, much smaller, so you have to divide through the um, the numerator first so this is other um equations we have to solve so now from equation one please follow this step when you have this kind of problem so from equation one we have to be equals nine minus i right so and we divide both sides by two and we have b equals nine minus i all over two now let's take equation three as well Equation 3 is 3i plus c equals minus 18. From equation 3, the value of c is going to be um, 18 minus 3i, right? So let us keep this as well. Please follow this process if you want to, if you, are, if you have to solve some equation having three um, unknown variable. Because if you... Do not use all three equations in obtaining your answers. You might run into a problem um, with your results. So let's call, we call the first one star and the second one H. So let us put both in equation 3. So equation 3 is um, 8A plus B and plus 2C equals 48, right? So, um... So what is the value of b obtained? So let us leave it as it is. So we have b equals 9 minus i all over 2, right? And c equals 18 minus 3i, right? So all equals 48. So let us simplify that completely. We have 8a, um, 8a. plus 9 minus i all over 2 and plus 18 times 2 is 36 and minus 6i all equals 48 so um let us solve all at once let us solve all at once so that we can focus on the numerator you can use this method so we put these two down here and 1 and 2 is 2 multiplied by the 8a we have 16i so in the one there we have minus 9 minus i and we have plus 72 and we have minus 2i and that's all over one right so 1 in 2 is 2 multiplied by 48 gives 96 so i hope you understand what i did there so um and, and focus on the numerator so, if we rearrange that properly, 
collecting light terms we have 16 a minus a and minus 12 a equals 96 minus 9 and what do we have left minus 72 when it goes to the other side so let's put all of that together we have 3 a and if we put all of that together we have 15 so i equals 15 okay we have 10 15 all over 3 excuse me so which equals 5 so um, we've obtained the value of i we need to go on and um, look for the value of b and c as well so let's just put a in star and ash so star is b equals 9 minus i all over 2 so we have b equals 9 minus 5 all over 2 9 minus 5 is 4 and that would be 2 right so 4 divided by 2 so and from equation 3 we got c equals 18 minus 3a so that would be 18 minus 3 multiplied by 5 and that's 18 minus 15 which is 3 and by now we've been able to um, obtain the value of the constant a b and c please if you are getting value from this video remember to give it a thumbs up and please um, subscribe for more content like this so let's go back and put down the original um, expression that we are um, evaluating that we are simplifying so we have 9 squared plus 48x and plus 18 all over 2x plus 1 multiplied by x squared plus 8x plus 3. So we have our a being 5, right? So all over 2x plus 1 equals we have b x plus c. So that's going to be 2x, right? And plus 3 all over s squared plus 8x and plus 3 and there you have it that's the solution to that problem so please um if you have pro any problem with this you can go on and look at the previous lessons and until next time keep matching it keep winning